My name is Jennifer Myro. I am um, a businesswoman. Most people know me for helping other people make money out of their passions. So if you have a talent and you don't know how to monetize it, you probably want to link up with your girl. Um, I also work in media and entertainment. I produce television shows around the world. That's me. So you go to jennifermyro.com, which is my website, or you meet me at an event, or someone recommends me to you, and then you send me a message, and I figure out what you want. I mean, not me, maybe someone on my team, I don't know, it just depends on how you connect with us. And then from there, we determine, because a lot of young people, which is my demographic, do not, they know they're passionate about certain things, whether it be singing or business or whatever, or acting, but they don't necessarily know how to go about it, especially in the US. I think Nigeria people have it down, or I cut my cap to you guys. Nigeria people know how to handle business. But in the US, there are a lot of semantics, and you have to be careful so you don't kind of go against the law and things like that. So that's where I would come in, and I would help you um, whether it's register the business, help you determine your demographic, help connect you with people who would help with website, publicity, and all of that. So that's how it works. It's pretty easy, but it costs a little dollar. So you gotta be, you gotta be willing to write a check. That's interesting, because no one has ever asked me that. Because when I'm in Nigeria, I don't know that I'm anything else. And when I'm in Dallas, I don't know that I'm anything else. So when a client reaches out, you just work with them regardless of where they're from. So it's just like every other business. You hustle, you have counterparts, you want to stand out, and you have to put your flavor on it. That's what's going to make you you, and that's what's going to keep the clientele rolling and keep them coming back. So it's not a struggle, because when I step into America, I'm American. When I step into Nigeria, I'm Nigerian, so I haven't thought about it. So it's not like a record label or something like that where you actually sign someone on. Um, they are coming to you to pay you for your expertise because they've either seen the kind of work you do, they know you have connection, or maybe you went to school for um, business development or what have you. So you have to then, I have to then tell the client what I can do for them. Um, it's funny because most people would typically just know me for the nonprofit stuff I do or for the reality TV stuff I do, but they don't know that there's something that actually brings in the money, like on a regular, <laughs> or like the other two that take my money. Um, so it is, um, I, anybody who comes to me, I can work with. I just have to determine how much they, are, they have, how much they can pay or they can afford, and if they can't work with me, I would have to refer them to the younger people that can maybe help them. But other than that, no. I don't have a choice. If you have the money, I'm, I, I want you. I love you already. The Real Nigeria Ladies of Dallas is the first reality series that tells the lives of Nigerians, Africans in the United States. No one has done it yet. And no one is still going to be able to do it like me. I don't care if they come and try. So let's just sidebar that one, first of all. Um, the first season was kind of like a trial because we weren't really sure how it would be received and, you know, um, it was just, okay, let's give it a shot, let's be ready for the backlash or the good feedback, and it was good. But going into the second season, we were more informed, you know, camera choices, logistics, locations, things like that. We were more, we were ready, we had the experience now. Um, so yes, it has been great. It can only get better. Season 3 is done. It's an edit and we can't wait for you guys to see all the fancy stuff we have going on. Next season, girl bosses, like you've not seen them. Like we literally have young women who are kind of aggressively taking over their market um, in the U.S. Um, what to expect. Yes, there are more conflicts because these women are now more comfortable in front of the camera than they were before. So people are now saying their mind and arguing and fighting. But we do like to let people know that Real Nigeria Ladies of Dallas is not expected to um, show Nigerians in, or Africans in a negative light. We definitely do not want to be 
another version of Real Housewives or Love and Hip Hop or anything else. I feel like it's very important for people who are, you know, in a place of power, maybe, if I can say that, or, you know, who are in a place of privilege, to remember those who are not. Um, I feel like that's the, a responsible thing to do. I was arguing with somebody um, recently, literally. I was saying, how come all the Nigerian celebrities, I don't see them saying, I'm associated with this charity. This is what we do, like, on a regular. But we see everybody with fake Celine's and Hermes Birkin purses. We see everybody bleaching. We see everybody with Brazilian hair. We see everybody, and they are calling us to borrow the money, just so you people know. They don't genuinely have it, just sidebar. But my argument is, if you're a celebrity, I feel like you owe it to humanity to help people who don't have as much as you do. Not just help for social media, but help genuinely because you know and you believe that um, humanity needs it, and that's what has fueled me. When we started the nonprofit, what, in 2011, I wasn't even half as successful as I am today, but I was like, God, thank you. The small way you don't do for me, you don't try. Let me help those that, you know, don't have that. So I think that all, you know, anyone in a place of some sort of comfort um, should be kind enough to at least remember these people, not just on your birthday, not just when you send people credit on social media, but authentically, intentionally give back, just like the celebrities in America do. If we're copying them, let's copy them for the good things. Let's not only copy them for the bags and the shoes and private jets. Let's copy them when they give back as well. And that's the motto that I live by. People don't forget that I am any of those things because I feel like I shove it up off their, in their faces all the time. But managing, I don't know, let me not lie you. For sure God, but I feel like I just come from a place of I'd rather die trying than not try at all. And once it's something I'm passionate about, I will keep going. When we started with Nigeria, oh my God. Some people were like, ah, okay, it's gonna cost you money. It fuels me is the naysayers, the people that have said, she won't be able to do it. That Just tell me I won't be able to do something. And I will literally just start doing it, just to prove you wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm passionate about everything that I do. Um, people come to me with business ideas all the time. Oh, sell cream. Sell, you know, like people think, you know, you don't have to be light skinned. Your skin is smooth, people will buy. I'm like, I'm not passionate about that. Sell makeup. I said, well, if it's makeup, it has to be lip gloss. Maybe I'll, because I, that's the, like my main makeup. So I think, Instead of trying to do everything because it will bring money, be passionate about what you are trying to pursue, and then even when the chips are down, you still have the ginger to continue because it's your passion. I think the easiest thing would be to Google them, but right now, Amazon, Linda Akeji, the TV, Wazubia Max, I mean, we're like out there thinking we are some kind of superstar people. Um, I'm actually working on Rina Nigeria Ladies of LA. I think I just said it for the first time. And that one's gonna be so Hollywood, so bougie. Hey, you, I don't think anybody's ready for that one, but that's, that's what's up. So I'm excited for what my future holds. I feel like I came into the entertainment scene not really knowing much about entertainment, but just once again, daring to do something differently. and. So far, the doors are just kind of flying open, and I'm grateful. So I can't wait for y'all to see everything else that we got, we're working on. Hi guys, it's your girl, Jennifer Myro, all the way from Dallas, Texas. Please keep watching Wazobia Max TV. To enjoy more of these our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.